Hi, good evening everyone and uh, welcome to Depop or Digital Pop. My name is Janet Torral and for tonight I'm supposed to be joined by Joff Solas and uh, Shinjara but unfortunately I think something uh, came up that uh, make it difficult for the two guys to join us tonight. So anyway, just to stick to our schedule and to the topic given to us, our topic for tonight is all about YouTube celebrities. Um, Actually, YouTube celebrities is a topic uh, that was suggested by Joff. And on my end, I was trying to find a way on how can I connect this to my audience in so far as what do they like in so far as YouTube celebrities are concerned. So what I did is uh, I did a search on the musicians or bands liked by the followers of my pages on Facebook. And uh, this is what I found out. So let me share it to you. So let me just show my screen so I can share it to you. And let's do that. Hold on. All right. I'm going to share my screen, this one. Okay, I'm just waiting for it to transition. So actually, when I have a Facebook page, um, okay, let me just check. Something just came up. All right. So when you look at this uh, Google graph, uh, sorry, uh, Facebook graph, I did a search on musicians liked by likers of uh, Janet C. Toral because I have a Facebook page. And more or less, uh, by doing this, I will have an idea of the people who have liked my page. What kind of music um, do they like? And it says here that uh, they like uh, more than a thousand pages. And in so far as musicians are concerned. These are more or less the more popular um, musicians that are liked by those who have liked my page. No? So in this case, we have uh, Leia Salonga, Noel Cabangon, uh, Freestyle Band. I, it also shows uh, City Navarro, Barbie Almalvis, Bukas Palad Ministry Church, Philippine Madrigal Singers, True Faith, Richard Poon, uh, you also have Gary Valenciano Official, Shasha Padilla, Eraser Heads, UP Dharma Down, Jessica Sanchez, Lani Misalucha, Parroquia ni Edgar, Francis M, Wolfgang Philippines, Rico Blanco, Apple the Up, Rachel Ango, Juries, Glock 9, River Maya, Bamboo Music Live, Yang Constantino, Zia Kison, uh, well, we have Don Moen, Jovit Baldivino, Patty Austin, Anjali Kinton, Sponge Cola, Air Supply Music, Barry Manilo, Hillsong Worship, Hillsong United, Jabba Wokis, uh, Princess Velasco, Jessa Saragossa, Nico Kidman, Danny Goki, Kalia Lili, U2, Maria Curry, Paul Baluch, Silent Sanctuary, The Beatles, Tear for Fears, Tears for Fears, Michael Jackson, Josh Groban, Bruno Mars, Bong Navarro, Kenny Rogers, Adam Sandler, okay, Casting Crowns, Whitney Houston, Jason Mraz, Jennifer Lopez, Celine Dion, and so on and so forth because there's just so many of them. But I think what I like about this uh, feature is that if you want to have an idea on the kind of pages that are being followed by the people that you uh, like, no? or by the people that you, I mean, by by the pages that you like. And if you want to have a, a more or less an idea of the demographic of that audience, more or less that gives you a perspective of what do people look for, the kind of content that they are interested in. And so meaning, if I don't get to listen to music that often, but I would like to have an idea of the of the kind of artists or celebrities that are being followed by the people that have been communicating or connecting with me, then I can be more or less more direct in exploring uh, music types that that can 
who knows, can also spark my interest. So, for example, if I go to YouTube now, I can look for songs that are uh, more or less uh, that are popular on YouTube insofar as uh, Leia Salonga is concerned, and I can do a filter. And so instead of just searching in random, like in this case, it's all about relevance, then I can focus on view count just to have an idea in terms of, of all the videos that YouTube has insofar as they as long as concerned, what would be the most um, highly viewed, you know, um, or more or less uh, popular, you know, and to have an idea about it. So it seems here from this result, you have Lea Salonga sa on my own for Le Miserable, you know? and then Noel Kabangon um, is also popular. So we can also do the same filter and have an idea of. Uh, um, what is mostly uh, regarded by uh, followers of uh, Leo, of Noel Cabangon. So there's uh, Kandungan, Kahit Maputi na ang buhok ko, among others. So, you know, at least if you want to enjoy music or put something on your watch later list, you can put it there. And then, of course, one of the results that also came out as well is uh, freestyle. Um, so, tingnan natin kay freestyle. Ayan. So, by popularity, Till I Found You by Freestyle with Lyrics. And I think uh, shortly we will be, I hope we will have um, Joff on board and I'm sure with uh, Joff he will also be able to share uh, interesting results as well. For City Navarro, what we have here is this one. You count, let's click on that. We have an idea as to what would be the more popular game? Okay. So, Grow Old With You, City Navarro sa Bossa Nova, Para Sa Akin by City with lyrics. Okay, so at least alam natin kung yung sikat. And then, uh, Barbie Al Malbis. Um, in my earlier years online, yung sa mga, what do you call that, ano, yung mga 70s bistro, yung area na yun, I remember, having the chance to watch uh, Barbie before, you know? uh, I think that was in the late 90s. So, tingnan natin kung yung popular dito. View count. Okay, so, Ellie Gwendia, Rico Blanco, Raymond Marasigan, Barbie Almalbes, Collaborate. And then, uh, the Needle Song, and then Barbie Almalbes, Just a Smile, and When I Met You. Okay, so yan yung mga popular. So, I think kung hindi ka ganun kadalas sa uh, makinig talaga ng music, yung talagang very targeted, um, doing your research on Facebook will more or less give you an idea as to what type of music uh, really clicks with your audience. And then, in your case, kung alam mo kung ano yung mga popular, at least kung mag-decide ka na mag-share ng songs or mag-share ng music sa yung mga followers, then more or less, um, pwede ka rin maging targeted sa iyong pag-share, no? Uh, and hopefully, rather than just sharing things at random, then alam mo kagad na itong song na to ay popular sa kanila. So, pwede ako mag-decide na song for the day, no? And then the song for the day will be coming from uh, what was uh, the songs that are most liked uh, by those who have followed your page. So, just follow that uh, syntax, musicians like by likers of the page that you have in mind. And uh, more or less, it will give you an idea as to what type of music uh, really clicks with your audience. Okay? So, kung if you have, how about you? Uh, sino ang paborito niyong uh, YouTube singer? I'm curious. Meron ba kayong paboritong YouTube singer? Um, that you would like to share. So you can, if you have a favorite uh, YouTube singer, of course, you can use our uh, Q&A to, um, to type in your favorite uh, YouTube singer and uh, para ma-share din natin siya. Okay. Ah, mukhang hindi ko yata mataturn on yung ating... Uh, Q&A kasi dapat daw shinair ko na raw siya much earlier. So, tingnan natin yung chat. Okay. So, I can type here. Hi, everyone. So, I hope that you can see it. 
So if you want to use the group chat feature and you would like to share who are your favorite artists, you can do so by using that one. Okay. All right. So I guess this is what I can share so far in regards to our topic for tonight. And if you have additional inputs, you can give it there. And uh, basically, um, the idea here with the way I've shared it is that you can connect your Facebook and Google Plus in terms of researching your favorite musicians and, um, and hopefully be more targeted or be more purposeful if you want uh, by looking at what are the things that you can search for online. Um, of course, YouTube will also give you some suggestions as to what you can uh, listen to um, and that is more popular to your topic of interest. Uh, yung nga lang kadalasan yung mga pinapakita niya mga suggestions is normally based on what have you been searching for. Like there was a time that I was really looking for videos about Wally because I really, really like Wally the character. Kaya yun ang lumalabas sa akin. No? Pero kung kung magiging uh, practical naman ako sa aking pagsasearch, I'm sure meron din ipapakitang uh, suggestions si YouTube sa akin na magpifit talaga dun sa aking, uh, if you want to call it, taste or or based on my behavior on how I do my online uh, viewing insofar as YouTube is concerned. Okay? So let's go back to our uh, platform. All right. Let me know. Okay, again. So thank you again for tuning in with us tonight for this uh, episode of uh, Deep Up. It's a very quick presentation on how you can. Um, reconcile your Facebook in terms of discovering what uh, likers of your page, uh, the kind of musicians that they like, and then using that information to look for the popular videos of that artist and see what are what's there on YouTube. And uh, especially if you want to do some targeted sharing, you'll be able to do that. Okay? So, I think we don't have Okay, thank you very much for liking that uh, tip. Yes, you can also use the same if you want to do more targeted sharing, like um, like you wanna or you wanna do more targeted research, like sports, like like by your Facebook page followers, or food, or restaurants, or tourism spots, among others. You can play around with the graph and discover more about your likers and what. What, what do they like? No, what do they prefer? And then that can also make you more targeted insofar as your surfing activities and uh, get to know them better. And hopefully in the process, be able to connect better with them as well. Okay? So thank you very much for joining us in this episode of Depop tonight. And I think maybe for our episode uh, next week, I hope that uh, Joe will be able to join us during that time and of course uh, Shin as well and so that they will be able to share their favorite YouTube singers so we will be doing a part two uh, for that one next week so that they'll be able to share theirs. So this is Jonathan and thank you very much for joining Digital Pop, Deepa. Thank you. <laughs>